it, it's, it'll sound very familiar. <laughs> Guys don't want it's to quite be an there. Accolade. Oh yeah, we were, <laughs> and we were really bad. We weren't marginally bad. We were really bad. They were, it was, and so instead of, you know, I was the new owner and instead of creating an office, I didn't have an office. And this was in January of 2000. There was a sales cubicle, there was a sales bullpen and um, I moved everybody. So all the sales group were in um, this like little gold, the fish that we called it. And I put my desk right in the middle of it. And I had a laptop, an old school laptop from back then. And I had a phone book and I had a list of people who had bought tickets and were former season ticket holders. And I got on the phone and I started calling people because I wasn't gonna ask somebody else to start making calls if I went. Right. And it was like, yeah, this is Mark Cuban, new owner of the Dallas Mavericks. I know you've been to a game and I just wanted to sit here and tell you, we'd love to have you back. But did you know that going to a Mavs game is less expensive than eating McDonald's? Do you know that we have tickets now that are less expensive than going to the movies? And you'll get a unique experience that you'll never, ever experience anywhere else. Well, you guys suck, da 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 da, da. you guys are awful. <laughs> and I'd be like, do you remember when your, your mom or dad first took you to a game? Yeah. You remember how you felt? Yeah. Do you get that going to McDonald's? Do you get that going to the movies? No. We, we create special experiences. I can't guarantee you we're going to win or lose, but I can guarantee you we're going to make the entertainment. So when you look at your son or daughter's face, you will be thrilled to death and know that you couldn't get a, that experience anywhere else. And it's $8 a ticket. One by one. And it sure helped that we won games, right? But we realized what we were selling, right? We weren't selling basketball. We were selling, it was more like a wedding. Uh, you know, they were playing like the cool music of the time, the 90s. I, I don't know, Bell Biv DeVoe, you know, LL Cool J, <laughs> Poison. Um, but um, <laughs> but I mean, I made it, I told them we're immediately changing the music. And to this day, we do the same way. I want the music to be more like a, a wedding. You know, think about the things you remember at a wedding. You remember Aunt Susie getting drunk and dancing with, you know, goth Jimmy, you know, <laughs> and that, that's what makes a great wedding. And that's what makes a great basketball game, too. You can't control, you know, jump shots. And it, it, I, I love watching Dirk. I love watching our guys play. But for an eight year old little boy or girl, they don't care. They just want to be entertained. And for a parent, you know, does everybody remember what it was like when your, your mom or dad first took you to a game? Right? Or if you have kids taking them to a game, you don't remember the score. You don't remember a home run jump shot or a touchdown. You remember who you were with. So so great what he just said there. First part, what did he see? He just bought the team. It's the worst team in the in the basketball league. What did he first what's the first thing he said he did with his staff? Got him on the phone. He got on himself. He got on the phone. He, sp- he picked up the phone and started talking to people, the fans and everything. What was he led, he led by example? He led by example. How many people? How many people in business think they can delegate their? You guys know this. I'm on a soapbox today with too much caffeine. How many? How many sales businesses die on the vine because the owner the of the business will not do the same thing that he's asking his employees, his VAs, his integration manager, uh, all the, he won't do the same thing. How important is it to be a great salesman, whether you're in basketball or real estate? 1000%. That's what you do with, with everybody here. You, you do calls with them. Jordan Belfort did the same thing with his, his group of guys when he first started. What was the next thing he realized about his business? Was he in the basketball business? What business did he realize he was in? He was selling experience of entertainment. Well, say the whether second one. The second one. Inter- the entertainment. entertainment. Whether they win or lose, you're going to leave with a wonderful experience for your family. Exactly. He realized what business we in. Are we in the real estate business? I mean, for those of us in real estate, are we just in the real estate business? Because everybody's nope. in the real estate business. What business we're are we we're real in the problem solving business? Yeah, solve their problem. First, identify it even more than them and then solve their problem. Give them a, imagine a way out to something a, a better than the pain they feel. Yeah, we are in the, we're in the problem solving business, but also we're in the marketing business. And real Mark- estate just happens to be the widget. And 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 that's why we need to create that experience that that and, and always you know goes back to to that emotion you know like people 
uh, probably will forget the terms of the deal that they put together with you, but they will not forget like the experience that leading to that deal. Hey, you know, like Mr. Seller, I, I like you. I want to do business with you. Um, you know, like that is what, uh, what's going to set you apart from your competitor. You've got to realize what business you're in. You've got to realize the needs and greeds of your prospect before. You can't just tell them about the product. Oh, it's wonderful. It dices, it slices. It, no, this product will save you time. It'll make food more enjoyable. Sir, I, I, you, maybe you're happy in that one bedroom apartment, but would you like to get, can you see yourself in your own home someday with appreciation, improved credit rating, entertaining friends, doing barbecues with the kids giggling and having fun in the backyard, playing with the bo- with the dog and the, and the sprinkler system. Can you see that happening someday, sir? Or are you happy staying in that one bedroom apartment? How do you feel about that? Boom. That's what I'm talking. This is what I, we've got it. Felipe is correct. It's our responsibility to find the need, find the need and greets, create needs and greets or exacerbate the existing needs and greets that they come to you. Just like the Ray Kroc thing. He needed money. What, and that salesman found a way to solve his problem in a way he never expected. I'm going to move real fast here because I got two or three more. We're going to go a little bit over today. Is that all right? Do I have your permission to go long today? Or should I cut? Or maybe I should cut it off right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Go for it. 